Hey, what's up, everybody? I have a very important video today because this is time sensitive. That's right. But before we get into that, please hit that thumbs up button on the video. And it just turned 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's take a look at the status of these 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. Just a minute ago, I looked at it. They were both at Remind Me. But most of us know what happens at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the morning. They usually sometimes come back available. So let's take a look at this Morgan dollar. It is a red add to the bag. Imagine that 7.30 in the morning, it is once again back available. And then the peace dollar is a red add to the bag. Once again, it is back available like clockwork. It's almost like it's so predictable. Well, I guess it is pretty much predictable. Now, at some point, we're not going to see the going back and forth from the red add to the bag to remind me when is that going to stop. I don't exactly know. Keep in mind, the United States Mint did bring a bunch of these coins to the Orlando Fun Show and I believe that fun show is going to be ending today. Now, I did hear a rumor that somebody was at the fun show and one of the United States Mint representatives said that they may have had 6,000 Morgan uncirculated silver dollars, 6,000 uncirculated peace dollars. Not exactly sure how true that is. But 6000 out of 275000 doesn't seem like a whole lot. However, if they don't sell all 6000 you know where those are going to probably end up? Back in the inventory, and that will keep these coins possibly at a red add to the bag a little bit longer. Oh, and I just went back, and it's back to remind me again. So let's check out that piece dollar. It's only been, what, about a little, about two minutes and the Morgan dollar already went back to remind me, and the peace dollar is still the red add to the bag. But the importance of this video is not so much about these coins directly, however, it is about these coins, but not just these coins, any United States Mint product in general. A lot of this stuff that we buy from the United States Mint, very high premium, high dollar amount, very expensive. So when we get these in the mail, we want these to be perfect because of the high dollar amount we expect and we should, in my opinion, demand perfection. We don't want milk spots. We don't want scratches. Now, if we're talking about an error, then that's a different story. If it's a strike through error, if it's a die crack or something like that. However, when we're talking about milk spots, scratches, something else like that, I think we should expect very high quality and what happens if you don't get that high quality well that's where i talk about returning i am not afraid to return an item if it is not the quality that i am expecting now in 2021 i didn't return any of my morgan and peace silver dollars there was no need to there was no milk spots no scratches Sometimes when I get a package from the United States, it depends on what it is. Sometimes I'm excited to dive into that box and open it right up. And sometimes I'm just not. That's just the way it is. And sometimes I've had boxes that I've received from the United States that I waited maybe a week, two weeks to open that package. However, when I get these in, I will be opening up all my 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver dollars right away. So if you are one that usually waits a little while before you open up your packages, or maybe you're out of town, maybe you're on vacation, but what if one of these coins has a problem, a problem that you just don't want it to have? It has scratches, it has milk spots, it has some kind of nasty imperfection that you just do not like. In that case, I would really be considering a return. What is the United States Mint's return policy that's what we're going to talk about in this video it may not be a fun video but in my opinion it's a very important video to know this information so let's go check that out so there is two pieces of information that i want to share with you in this video this is one of them 
if for any reason within seven days of receiving your product you are dissatisfied with your purchase you can return the entire product for a refund shipping charges will not be refunded for all returns if your order includes a free accompanied item please see our frequently asked questions for additional instructions please send all return packages or orders to the following address now what i would do is go to my product that i purchased and in your purchase history there is a place where you can request a return i wouldn't mail anything back to them until they send you a prepaid shipping label now i haven't returned anything to the united states since 2020 nothing I haven't had a reason to, but if I had a reason to, I absolutely would. Like milk spots and scratches, I won't put up with that, and I will request a return immediately. The United States Mint will not accept partial returns, nor will issue partial refunds. For example, if you receive a United States Mint silver proof set where one coin is unacceptable condition, you must return the entire proof set, not just one coin, to receive a refund. And that seems pretty acceptable to me. The United States Mint reserves the right to limit or refuse a return or to exchange a fee for excessive returns. Keep that in mind, excessive returns. If you look at their return policy here, it says the same thing in 2018, March 13 of 2018, the United States Mint updates its numismatic customer return policy policy what it seems like to me what they're doing with this is they're trying to let's say there's a lot of flippers out there you buy a lot of you know a certain amount of coins and a secondary market is cold and all of a sudden you're stuck with these and you can't make a profit and maybe you're going to lose money and all of a sudden you want to return everything to the United States Smith. I believe in my opinion that's what this is trying to stop is trying to stop people who buy something to try to flip or make money make a profit on all of a sudden they say hey you know what i can't really make a profit on it so i want to return it i think that's what this is trying to prevent and then it says to return your product you may visit order history and initiate a return online or contact our customer service and if you have a problem with any of your coins whether it's the 2023 morgan and p silver dollars or any united states mint product that's exactly what i would do go to your order history and initiate a return then they will send you a shipping label and it's pretty simple and if you don't want to do that then you can contact the customer service and they should send you a shipping label i wouldn't pay for return shipping i wouldn't put anything into a box and just send it to them i would wait until they send you a shipping label then it says for your protection we strongly recommend that you return your order by insured mail and save the receipt for your records the united states mint is not responsible for lost return shipments all refunds will be credited in united states dollars that usd for further information about returns or refunds contact customer service and by the way, I'll put both of these links in the description of this video, but on this policy change from 2018, it basically says the United States Mint announces an update to its numismatic customer return policy to address the issues of excessive returns. For many years, the United States Mint has been pleased to offer customers the option to return any mint product for exchange or refund within seven days of purchase for any reason without restrictions. A review of customer data indicates that the current unrestricted return policy facilitates the practice of excessive returns, which results in significant additional costs to the mint. Effective immediately, the mint reserves the right to limit or refuse returns for purchasers who demonstrate return rates that exceed 2%. So very interesting. I'm not going to bore you anymore with any of these details. However, what I will do is put both of these links, this link and this link here in the description of my video. So you can go over it. You can research it for yourself, but I would definitely read it. And hopefully if you have any problems, there's no issue 
returning your products to the United States Mint. Before I end this video, let's take a look one more time. What is the status of these two coins? Are they both still at Remind Me? The Morgan dollar is back to Remind Me, and the Peace dollar is currently at Remind Me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks to everyone.